Okay, let's translate some MIPS assembly down to C. We're using the QT MIPS uh, example. Here we go. All right, so these directives, these are just QT MIPS uh, directives. We don't need those. Same thing with these. These are assembler directives, but we're translating to C, so we might translate these to compiler directives to say shut off optimization. Global start, uh, we're going to uh, ignore that. That's just part of our stuff. All right, so dot .text. Dot .text means that everything follows is supposed to be executable code. Labels point to places where we can branch to and such. If we jump down to this, we say uh, .org, please place everything here starting at memory location hex 1000. Anything that follows is just to be data and not executable code. Variables. Uh, in this, we're going to put, uh, we have two uh, a vector A, we have vector B, another 16 unit vector, and then we have vector C. You see this skip 64? Well, integers in MIPS 32 are 32 bits wide, 4 bytes. 4 bytes times 16 is uh, 64 bytes of uh, memory that we're going to make available for us. All right, so I'm going to take this. And uh, usually what we do is we put our data at the top of our loop. So I'm going to get rid of this dot text here. And helpfully for us, we have this integer is already declared. Just like that. So we made an array outside of our loop. So let's go back to uh, back to B, jump way down here this up at the top okay I'm gonna morph these using my text editor here add commas at the end my end add a comma whoops Search at the end, add a comma at the end, thank you. Close our thing, add a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stick all eight just like that. All right, so here's a vector B. Jump down, here's vector C. Put this in our thing, and we'll notice that this is where we have our it's hard to talk and type at the same time. And you notice that we just reserve vector C, but we don't initialize it with anything because it's not initialized in the main thing. All right, start, something else, main. If you notice, main is not here anymore. Now let's look for loop. Loop wraps the whole thing, the whole code. And then if we look at our branch equal, this is always true, so this is always a branch. Well, really, this is a while loop. A do loop, so a do loop, remember, is kind of opposite or uh, related to a while loop. We're going to do the body of the code first and then determine if we need to jump back and do it again. This is kind of idiomatic for assembly, but in C, you would write this as a while loop. We'll just do this explicitly. So this is a do. And we'll come back down here. These two end up being compiled, I guess, or translated to a while. Be careful. While zero, uh, <laughs> zero equals zero. Now that's like super duper explicit. You could say while one, but this is exactly what it's doing. This is always true. All right, we'll come back up to here. Next up, we have some vector A is a pointer, remember? Vector A is a pointer to an array. And we're going to store that in a temporary variable. Let's look at both of these, or all three of these at once. This is, you know what, I don't like tabs. Down by one 
I like four space tabs. It's okay. All right, so we have integer, and this is a pointer. Uh, let's say yeah, p a. It's a pointer to vector a, and I'm going to stick a five on the end of this because it's in register five. I shouldn't do this in C, but this is a translation thing. Okay. All right, so we have uh, B6, and this is B, and then this is C, and this is C7. Next up, we have this. This is our loop counter. Int. I like to use, sometimes a loop counter you might use an unsigned integer, but this is an add i instead of add ui. Count, we'll call it count 8. Uh, don't be confused, this is register 8 initialized to 16 right at the beginning of our do loop. Okay, next up we have this another loop here. So we do some things and then we end up at vector next. And this is not always true. This is register 8 compared to register 0. So we're actually comparing to 0, and we jump back. So this is another structure that we're going to identify as a do loop. So this is a do open. And then these two are our are a do while. Close that while. And then I need something here is not equal to zero. See that? Well remember 8 was stored in register 8 so this is not just something this is count 8. There we go. Alright next up I'll stick that off the end here. Load word, load word. Okay so we have register 2, register 3, register 4 4 and then we do something with register 4. So these two variables, oops. Uh, these two variables here. Man, what am I doing? I can't vim and uh, talk at the same time. All right, so this is an integer temp a2. This is a temp variable. a2 is the data stored at pointer A5. Okay, so remember PA5 is a pointer. We're going to walk along. It's pointing to register uh, A, and this is temp B3, uh, and this is B6. Okay. You notice how we have an add instruction, but this gets stored into a register. We're going to use in C a vari another variable, and we'll call this C4. And there is uh, temp C is not used for anything. Okay. All right. So we initialize these two with our load words. We need this one, and now our add is going to be temp C4 is temp A2 plus temp B3. So that's our addition instruction, the very core of our algorithm. We're just doing a vector addition. This store is where we take temp C4 and we store it in the location pointed to by register 7. This is always a zero offset. That's why we have these P uh, our pointers. PC7 is that. So I'm taking temp C4, the value, storing it into the location pointed to by P7. All right, so I'm not up updating the pointer value, I'm updating the data pointed to by the pointer. Welcome to pointers. This block of three just increments our pointer. Remember that integers are four bytes, so this is uh, P A five plus plus P B six plus plus P C seven plus plus. Okay, here's our loop counter. 
So this is count minus minus. Be careful. Or you could say or count is count minus one. That would be a little more explicit, but if you know C well enough, you know that this is an in place subtraction. Then we're done. We go here. We do our branch not equal. If we're not equal to zero yet, we repeat again. Come up to the top. We load our registers A and B. Make sure that we have C reserved for us to do our calculation. Do this. Keep doing this over and over until we hit zero. And then at this point, uh, this is just debugger stuff. And then this stuff, it's just a while, uh, a do while loop. All right, so our org and our data, we're going to assume that the linker puts our memory in the right place. And then this last line is uh, not used either. So we go to the top, just a quick review. We create our vectors. We create a reserve of variable and space for our result. We take these. I could do this. Uh, I think a little more clear to see what this is in pointer style is address of vector a location 0. This is exactly the same. Oops. OK. If you're a little confused about pointers, this might be a little easier. So this is the address of the first data thing, which in fact is exactly the same as just naming vector a. It is a pointer. Oops, I'll delete that. Okay, set up our loop counter. We do our loop, we do our addition, zip down, and now we have done a uh, vector addition. Thank you for watching.